Jiggy Cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, my name is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Hopefully, everyone is staying safe outside as of today, and hopefully, y'all guys will have a great weekend coming forward. But with that being all out the way, we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into today's main topic and talk about on how to play classic retro Commodore 64 games on your modded PlayStation Vita as well as for your modded PlayStation TV. One thing I do want to state before we even get into the prerequisites and every uh, like basically all the stuff on the PC is to talk about the actual device developer who created this um, homebrew and just kind of a rundown on where this homebrew application come from so shout out to Amnon or excuse me Amnon Danmir uh, I do apologize if I did um, butcher your name but he is the developer who created uh, Vice Vita version 1.0 which is basically the first standalone uh, Commodore 64 emulator and once I edit um, this video out you will see the actual tweet on the screen and you can download this via from the Rentagami Vita database and later on in a video i'll show you guys on how to download this um as of when i was testing this homebrew application i tried this on the actual playstation vita as well as the PSTV, and i was playing classic uh games such as pole position which i'll show you guys on how to do today and i was playing a uh, paperboard excuse me paperboy for the commodore 64 and i didn't run into any graphical issues um and anything of that nature the frame rate was great um for a very first version of a standalone emulator for the commodore 64 um this is a fantastic job so shouts out to the developer here but let's go ahead and get into the prerequisites just like any of my other videos everything will be in the link in the description down below so any useful links guides and you know just general information about this uh, process will be in a pinned comment and also as well in the link in the description first things first you need a modded playstation vita or a modded PSTV that is already hacked in some shape or form so whether if you're using the trinity exploit hankaku agent core agent core 2 um as long as your ps vita can run on side code then you're good for this process today i'll be using my hankaku enzo uh, ps vita 1000 that is on 3.60 firmware um this does work from firmware 3.60 to 3.73 uh you also need the latest version of vita shell which when i'm recording this as of march 27 2020 is version 2.02 you also need vice vita.vbk which is on version 1.0 so if you guys are watching this video um, later down the line, go ahead and always update to the latest version of this homebrew application. But since this is just version 1.1 or basically the base version, go ahead and download that. You also, of course, need Commodore 64 ROMs. I won't provide any links to, you know, ROMs. You know how high I am. Um, you can just use Google for that. But make sure they are in t64.d64 file format. Um, if they're in dot zips, um, basically, as of right now, the homebrew application can't read dot zips unlike I think retro art can but make sure your games are in t64 and not d64 format um as well for this process you can either use files of the ftb client or one scp if you want to transfer that way or you could use us a usb charging cable for this process with that being all out the way we're going to go on to the pc and I'm going to connect my vita and we're going to go and get started on this uh transaction Alrighty, assuming that you guys did listen to what I had to say in the intro and basically you did read all the prerequisites, what I've stated in the comment section, or excuse me, not the comment section, but in the link in the description down below, we're just going to go ahead and jump into this process. So first things first, I will have a link in a pinned comment as well as in the link in the description, and you could check out on how to get to this URL, which will provide us with the actual uh, homebrew application I'm talking about for today, which is Vice Vita. Just a brief description here, it just says Vice Vita is a port of the the versatile Commodore emulator Vice for the PlayStation Vita. It features a completely new UI with a touch screen or excuse me, touch keyboard support. It also has save states and control mapping. So if you want to, you know, check out the emulator uh, right here, some pictures of it, you can. And if you want to go ahead and check the source code, um, there is a basically a Git as well as a release page right here. So you can see. Um, if you wanted to compile this yourself, if you're a developer, you could check this out here and you could kind of see the uh, official release here. So either you could download it from um, GitHub or you could go ahead and download it from uh, Rentagami here. So all you gotta, gotta do is basically hit download VPK, um, open it up on your browser and it will download the actual VPK. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cancel this right quick 
and go to my desktop. So since I already had it on my um, PC. Once you download ViceVita.VPK, what you also need is Commodore 64 games. So what I did just to make this really easy is go on my, um, you know, right here, create a folder called Commodore 64 on my desktop, excuse me. And then what I did was basically get uh, two games. I wasn't going to transfer a bunch, but you can see here, I have Pole Position 2 from Namco, and I also have the original Paperboy. So those are my games. And if you guys remember what I stated in the intro, yours has to be in a dot uh, D64 file. Um, you know, that's the file it needs to be in or a T64. It can't be in a dot zip format since this homebrew application doesn't support it at the moment. Hopefully maybe in newer revisions, that zip files for Commodore 64 games could work, but it has to be in a D64 or a T64 uh, file format. But assuming that you guys already have your Commodore 64 games wherever you get them from, plus vi uh, Vice Vita VBK, what we're going to do is go to our PlayStation Vita and then get this set up on FileZilla, or excuse me, with FileZilla as well with Vita Shell. So let me go to my Vita for that. Alrighty guys, so we're back onto my PlayStation Vita as showcased here. I'm already assuming that you already have Vita Shell installed. If you guys don't already have Vita Shell installed onto your device, I will provide the VBK to that as well on how to get that in the link in the description down below. But what we need to do is go ahead and launch Vita Shell onto our device. Let me just hit yes via right here. And now what we're going to do is go ahead, let me back up so you guys can see all of my file partitions. What we need to do now is go and hit start. And if you guys want to transfer uh, via Wi-Fi like I am, since the files are not too large uh, as of today, make sure you go on F or excuse me where it says select button that you want to make sure you're toggled over to uh, FTP. If you want to go ahead and transfer with a USB cable and transfer files that way, which is always, you know, the faster method, just go ahead and where it says USB right here, just toggle left to right on your D-pad and select it to USB. But you also, you need your USB cable plugged in from your Vita to your PC for this process but i'm going to keep mine to ftp make sure your wi-fi is on of course anytime you're trying to use wireless or basically ftp connection and then you want to go ahead and hit select on your device and now you should see your ip address and basically what you want to do is just leave your ps vita on standby don't touch it as of right now and remember um your ip address so we could go ahead and take this on file for the ftp client or one scp of your choice so what i'm going to do now is go back to the pc Alrighty, so as of right now, I'm back onto my PC. What y'all guys want to do, either if you're going to be transferring your files with a via USB connection, make sure um, right now you have your charging cable plugged in from your PC to your Vita via by your USB ports. But since I'm going to be doing this via with files to the FTP client, I'm going to be going and transferring my files via with my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go open up files to the FTP client. You could use one SCP of your choice. But what I'm going to do here on the left side of the screen, you should see my PlayStation Vita, um, basically it's uh, IP address. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and type here. Yours will be different from mine. However, our ports will always be 1337. And then all you would have to do and follow the left to be clients, quick connect, and you should see all your file partitions. As well for this uh, process, what you want to do is go and where it says vicevita.vpk and where our Commodore games at, you should just create a folder. You can name it anything. And you just want to drag and drop this to UX0. So Right now, I'm just rewriting over um, this. And then if I go into my successful transfers, you can see that um, it transferred from my desktop to UX0. Just to verify on FileZilla, if I go down to vicevita.vpk, you can see that my application homebrew has transferred over successfully. And you can see that my Commodore 64 games transferred successfully. So what I'm gonna do now is cut the video here, and then we're gonna go back onto the PlayStation Vita and install the VPK itself. Alrighty, so we're back onto the PlayStation Vita as of right now. So if you were using a USB connection or a FTP server connection like I am, all you gotta do is go ahead and hit circle onto your device right here. And what we need to do is go into UX0, scroll all the way down to vicevita.vpk, and, and just install that homebrew. So just hit X over it once and install it just like any normal homebrew application. And then once you install vicevita.vpk, before we transfer our games into our correct directory, what we're going to do is just launch the application one time, and then what we're going to do is transfer the games right after. So that's what I'm doing here is just waiting for it to install. 
So, all right, it's fully done now. Let's go back into our live area. So that's what I'm doing here. Here is Vice Vita 64. Just go ahead and run the homebrew application. Now, I'll kind of give a quick rundown on how to utilize this uh, homebrew application because um, it's kind of a different format on basically how to get through menus and stuff. So basically hitting right on your D-pad, whether if you're on a PlayStation Vita or using a DualShock 3 or DualShock 4 controller under PSEV, that's how you basically select through some of the options. So right here, um, you can see more information about the uh, actual program itself and just general information about the developer. So that's that right here. So just about me for that section. If you want to reset your device, um, you could do that as well. Uh, to basically cancel out of stuff, you'll just hit circle. If you want to change any of the settings, um, which I don't really recommend if you're just trying to, you know, do this standard. But if you know what you're doing for this process, then, you know, by all means, you could tweak the settings to your, you know, um, to your preference, I should say. Uh, same thing with the controls if you wanted to uh you know change the controls for the commodore 64 to kind of map it to your liking on a vita you can as well and also you can load and save games this way via this method but for our goal we're going to go ahead and back out since we haven't transferred our games over yet and we're going to go and transfer our games to our correct directory so what i'm going to do is relaunch vita shell and then once we're into Vita Shell, what we're gonna do, just so you guys to see, go ahead and go into your Xero, find the folder wherever you renamed your games or basically wherever you have your games at. Since I already named mine to Commodore 64 games, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hit square on each game or how many games you wanna do. Um, if you have multiple games, you may wanna hit triangle and then you wanna hit like copy all. But what we're gonna do now is hit copy to on basically our games of choice. And we're gonna to go to, excuse me, UX0 again, go into our data folder, or excuse me, data folder. And now what we're gonna to go to is Vice Vita games. And we're gonna go ahead and paste our games into this directory. I already have my games into this directory since I was messing with this earlier and I just uninstalled uh, Vice Vita. But once you have your games into uh, UX data, Vice Vita games, all we could do is just back out of uh, Vita shell and we're gonna go and launch Vice Vita itself. So let's do that real quick. Now, what you wanna do is hit right on your D-pad to start a game. And you can see that um, it will automatically find my games into the correct directory. So in this case, I'm gonna go and launch Pole Position 2 and it's a T64 game. And what I'm gonna do is hit X over it. And what you wanna do as of right now is just wait for it to do its process. Depending on what game it is, it may take a little while for it to boot up, it's normal. If it takes too long, then I recommend, uh, you know, probably getting another dump or just make sure that, you know, your file was never corrupt to begin with. But you can see that pole position is now booting up just fine. And for this process as well, I'm gonna teach you on how to basically uh, prop up the keyboard or the virtual one. All you would need to do is hit start on your Vita or basically on your controller if you're messing with a PS TV. And you could see where you could um, type stuff in if you need to for certain games. So I'm just waiting for pole position to fully boot up because I know uh, one of the segments and this, that's why I choose this game for example. I, did, I, I can't even talk today. You, I would need to utilize a keyboard to basically for this to run so just waiting for it to do its thing real quick all right so just waiting for it to get through the screen so in my case right now this was uh, i can't even talk this is what i was talking about and what i got to do is hit y for yes if i could type today i'm hitting t all right so yeah in this example i'm hitting y and i could choose any racetrack i want to so i'll do uh the test track and if I be quiet real quick and put my Vita to the screen, you can see that, um, or hear the audio. But with that being out the way, I'm just gonna play some pole position tools just to showcase that this process does work. So here's me playing uh, pole position. And yeah, this is essentially on how to play classic Commodore 64 games on your PlayStation Vita. 
Now, I'm not really too good at pole position, as you can see, because I crashed. But yeah, essentially, if you're into classic retro games, or if you want to play, you know, a you know new style of games, if you're used to, you know, modern day stuff, I think it's pretty cool that we can run classic emulators on our PlayStation Vita. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, please be sure to comment. If you guys have any issues, feel free to join my Discord. But with that being said, my name is Nagato's Revenge, and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace